it's Wednesday it's very warm it's very stormy 17th of June halfway through June and it's only half past six in the evening and I think it's about to sile it down that's um that's a Yorkshire phrase a sile it down all right gardens looking good Rewelded me palette buster. Actually, I got a mate to do it. It's starting to rain. Here it comes. Look, you can see on there. Starting to rain. I'll take me palette buster in. Don't want to get it wet. <laughs> Tonight we are going to. Oh, there you go. Put it next. Stay. Put it next to Delilah, darling. Tonight we are going to. Uh, finish washing kegs. Where's the keg that I've... Oh, here we are. Currently upside down. This is now full of star sand. Uh, so what I'm going to do is now empty it with star sand by filling it with CO2 and then I shall just purge it straight back into the bucket via the out tube. That makes sure absolutely everything in that keg then is um, sanitised. Then I'm going to fill it full of CO2, pop the lid um, so that it would just be full of CO2. I'm then going to put my scales down and we are going to do as closed a transfer as sort of possible from here down into the keg. Now, because I didn't use the stainless steel fermenter over there and I also didn't want to use the um, Firmzilla because of the amount of dry hopping. There was an awful lot of dry hopping went in here, so I've had to tilt the uh, fermenting vessel back just so that the outlet for the tap is above the trub and the hops uh, after dry hopping it. All right, so let's get that cleaned out now and then get ready. Oh God, there's a story about these scales as well. These, these are the scales that I use to see how, um, how full the keg is um, usually when doing a, a closed transfer where you can't see obviously I'll be able to look down into that but I'm gonna weigh it anyway it's always a good double check and there's this conversation I would say discussion but it's not it's a sort of it's a willy waving contest on one of the internet Facebook groups uh, where someone was saying I've read that people use scales and I just posted saying yeah I've got a set of these I know how much a corner keg weighs so if i don't tear it you know i can always find and someone else said oh i don't do that i use a little handheld oh so you just stand there holding it until it gets to 20 kilos and the person who mentioned that actually forgot that i was the one that put them on to using one of these to, to test how much was left in a keg i said a corner keg weighs 4.2 kilos if you weigh a keg and it weighs 6.2 kilos, you know you've got two litres of booze left in it. It took a little bit of explaining. Not everybody's sort of that quick off the mark. I'm waiting for it to piss down. It's about to do it, I'm sure. Anyway, um, so, yeah, and then someone else said, oh, you know, I don't know so further. And it's got to that stage, and I hate that with some of these Facebook groups. And I do call it sort of like Willy Way. I'm expecting someone now to say, well, I suspend it from me erect John Thomas. And when Ken gets to 19, it snaps me erect John Thomas off. That's how I know it's fucking 19 litres. I just like, Facebook groups are battle zones. They're full of fucking competitive knob jockeys who fucking can't have a reason debate they they you know they've got to they've got to win they've got to uh, anyway let's get this let's get this going first things first we're about to empty the star sand so just under pressure back into this container i will then put it into that one and leave the star sand in there it's made up with um, distilled water. Now, star sand made up with distilled water 
kept in a, a sealed container like that will last pretty much forever um, you can always test it with pH meter just to make sure but um, realistically you're not using star sand to clean you're using it to sanitize so provided everything is clean uh, either with um, you know, caustic soda or um, sodium percarbonate or whatever you decide to use I've stopped using VWP because I think it's shite um, you, the point being you cannot sanitize shit so if you've got shit inside there you can put as much star sand in there as you want it's still shit you can't sanitize shit so clean it and then sanitize it rain it's i tell you what it's gonna belt it down really really soon right that's nearly i didn't quite have nine liters of um distilled water you don't want to watch that finishing after that's finished i'm going to whack a load of co2 in it and then release the co2 to burp it to ensure that that entire keg is full of co2 and then we'll have we'll drop the whoops that's um, that's now just got CO2 coming out of it <laughs> and star sand foam good so that keg is now clean next we can fill it full get in there you bastard okay. of CO2 and uh, start getting that into there scale at the ready just give everything a good spray with star sand put this on here and then tear it Oop, wrong one All right. All right. ok now pop the lid off here need to release the gas first obviously I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed and also that's too low to go straight into here so what I'm going to do is take it off the scale for a minute bear it in mind for next time bring the uh, shelf further up okay we're ready this is we've taken out the yeah we have taken out the blow-off tube the Lornipa. Lauren's Nipa. Well, the Nipa from Lauren's Conan Yeast. I think we're probably going to get a full keg out of this. That little cloud you can see in there is the CO2 because as much as possible I want to avoid any oxygen contamination. I think we're perfectly at that level. Lifting it up with those blocks seems to have been just about the right amount. Great. Oh, ice makers chucking some ice out. Right, well, let's come back when we're uh, when we're down a little bit more. I should really just do a time lapse so I go zoom, but I won't because I can't be asked. I feel like I really should just be stood there with this hooked onto the handle or something and and just keep keep suspending it for however long it takes you know just to end up with big muscles like Popeye ah that went pretty good let's give it It shouldn't need purging because it was full of CO2 anyway and because I had the shelf too low I couldn't have this on the scale at the same time but we can weigh this now just remember what I said about a keg weighing 4.2 kilograms so um, what we do is we take 4.2 
off whatever we've got on here. And I think we're not far off. 19, I think we're probably on about 18 and a half or something, right? And uh, thank you, that's all. <laughs> uh, let me turn it off. Ounces, we don't want ounces. Kilograms. 22.45. So that is, right, take off um, 4.2. So if we were to take off four, we'd be down to 18. And then um, take off 0.2, we'd be down to 0.25. So 18.25. Pretty pleased with that. Maths lesson as well. Now, here's what we want to know. By using that tilting method, how much was left in the fermenting vessel? wastage did we have oh look at that probably oof, probably about not very bloody much so I'm happy with that's good that is very good um, that tilting method I think will be deployed again in the future and we have the label <gasps> congratulations what I'm gonna do is a uh, final gravity just to double check um, the strength of it. Uh, in order to do that, I will need to take some out of there. If I'm gonna take some out, I might as well take it out and put it into a glass as well. <sighs> Hang on. Enough warm up here. It's very close and cloudy outside, um, but I've got the water distiller going to give us some more um, water for future star sands. Okay, Lonnie Power is now in the conditioning fridge along with the Tinipa, Timmy's, and uh, Lauren's. But I need to test it. Right. Hmm. Straight out of the keg into glass. Bearing in mind it's not carved. Literally, as it's just gone into the keg. All this is for is literally to take a hydrometer reading. Sort of. I think that's going to be a winner. That's, um, what was it? Mosaic Simcoe Vic Secret. Definitely getting that Vic secret out of there. Okay. That's going to be four weeks along with a Tinepa before I'm going to class it as ready. But happy am I at the moment with the way that tastes. And um, I might have been a bit, um, a little bit uh, unfair when it comes to um, Facebook groups because the yeast for this came from um, this woman that I met on a Facebook group and I think I'm a member of a couple of homebrew brewing type Facebook groups believe me some are far better than others and um, the one where uh, where the woman offered to send me this um, Lauren offered to send me this is, is by far probably the, the best of the um, Facebook groups not as much willy waving, not as much competition, and I know the, the actual the group where all the stuff are over the the scales thing. I mean, it has been overrun with new users recently, and some people have got very, very rude and very, very intolerant. And I think people are just trying to you know prove prove their expertise or prove. Listen to me, you know. Listen to me. Look, you know, I can i can brew just using pond water and it will still taste like whatever i don't know but so facebook groups some good some not quite as good <laughs> but for the one that um that resulted in me getting the yeast to make this very very good right okay i think gonna have a quick check downstairs Mm, that's two points off what I was expecting, but that's still okay. That's um, in terms of my uh, attempt to um, uh, brew some slightly more uh, sessionable 
New England IPAs. I'm happy with that. That comes out 4.86. So that's good. That's good. I'm managing to get them down while still having the flavour and the mouthfeel and whatever. Hi! Um, right, I'm going to drink that now. <laughs> After I have just... Um, I ought to clean that out. Really, shouldn't I? But, you know, I'm going to wait till tomorrow and do that. And then actually have a little look at um, maybe filming the entirety of the trub, the way the trub's made up. It hasn't chucked it down with rain. So back where we started, I was thinking it should do, would do, could do. Uh, hi. Not the most interesting of videos, I know. But that Lon Nipa, looking forward to that. And looking forward to having a bit of a decent uh, summer where I can sit out here next to WAF, look at ducks, and get absolutely fucking slaughtered. Right, boys and girls, that's it. Not not the most intriguing of videos for the day, and a little rant about dickheads on Facebook groups. But all in all, Facebook groups, you know, they should be a resource, and it should be for sharing, sharing. Um, kind of experiences and opinions but not trying to force them down other people's throats and not trying to make out that you're fucking the best thing since sliced bread because you're not believe me um and i take the attitude that you know i'm always going to be learning about this so everything i contribute is what i try and give back a little bit um but my uh my opinion is like everybody else's arsehole no hang on Something like that, isn't it? Anyway, that's it. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe and all that rubbish. Cheers.